Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Which of these cases would be heard in a civil court? Have you ever wondered how courts decide which cases to handle? Let's break it down. When someone sues another person or a company, it usually ends up in civil court. So what kinds of cases are we talking about here? Imagine a situation where Robert borrows $5,000 from a friend to improve his business, but he fails to pay back the money as agreed. This is a classic example of a civil case, specifically a breach of contract. In civil court, Robert's friend would be the plaintiff and Robert would be the defendant. The court would decide if Robert is responsible for paying back the money and any interest. Civil cases often involve disputes over contracts, damage to property, or personal harm. For instance, if someone gets injured in a car accident, they might sue the other driver for compensation. This would be a tort claim, which is another common type of civil case. Tort claims can include things like assault, battery, or negligence, where one person alleges that another did not fulfill their duty of care one. Another example is landlord-tenant issues. If a landlord tries to evict a tenant unfairly, or if a tenant is seeking their security deposit back, these disputes would also be handled in civil court. Family law cases, such as divorce, child custody, and child support, are also civil cases. These involve private citizens or companies suing each other, but they don't involve breaking criminal laws. In civil court, the standard of proof is different from criminal court. Instead of beyond a reasonable doubt, civil cases are decided based on preponderance of the evidence or sometimes clear and convincing evidence, depending on the type of case. So to summarize, cases involving contract breaches, tort claims, landlord-tenant issues, family law disputes, and other similar conflicts are typically heard in civil court. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Want the inside scoop on your neighborhood? Imagine knowing exactly what your neighbors paid or who actually owns that stunning house down the block. At countyoffice.org, you can create a free account and snoop through over 150 million property records, owner names, mortgage details, sale prices, all those things other sites make you pay for. Don't miss out on the fun. Just Google countyoffice.org property records or head to countyoffice.org directly and create your free account today. Go on, get your snoop on.